In this session, we shall discuss inheritance and polymorphism, which will be observed in Python in object-oriented programming. Here we define one class. So here we have defined one class. The name of the class is MyBird. This is the constructor. This is a what type? That is one method, and can swim is another method. The method bodies are very simple. We have just uh, put one print statement there. And here we are having another class that is known as my penguin, which is inheriting my bird. See, my bird, my bird we have defined here. So let me execute the code. So here the class has been defined, and my penguin is inheriting my bird. So like about Java, here we need not to write extends or any other keywords. Just within this bracket, we are mentioning the respective class name. The class name which will be mentioned within this bracket will be known as the base class. Also known as the super class, and this is our derived class or sub class here. So, in case of Python, the class inheritance will be written using this particular syntax. So, this my penguin is having the uh, respective constructor, and here we are calling the base class constructor. So, base class will be called by the super method, and its constructor is always underscore underscore init underscore underscore method. So, that is the base class constructor we are calling, and then one statement to get printed. And who is this? And can can run? So these are the other two methods in this my penguin class. So just remember, in my bird, along with the constructor, we are having what type and can swim. And in case of my penguin, we are having this constructor, and along with we are having who is this and can run. So these two other methods are there. We are defining one penguin class object. So it has been defined in a very simple way. So that means we are having this my penguin. And then we are having the PG1 is the object name. So PG1 dot what type? This particular what type was defined in the class that is a my bird. As my bird has got inherited into my penguin, so my bird methods can be accessed from this my penguin object. So that's why PG1 dot what type can be executed. We are having PG1 dot. We are having PG1 dot. Who is this? So it is defined in case of my penguin. You can easily find in my penguin who is this is defined. We're having this uh, uh, pg1 dot can swim. We're having pg1 dot can run. Pg1 dot can swim was defined in my bird class, and pg1 dot can run. This can can run was defined in my penguin. That means what type and can swim we are inheriting. We are we are getting this one from the base class that is my bird because there they were defined. So now let me go for the execution. My bird class constructor is executing. My penguin class constructor is executing. You can easily find that here we have called the base class constructor. So that's why the control has gone to this. So my bird class constructor is executing has got printed at first. Then my penguin class constructor is executing. So that string has got printed. So now we called what type. So what type is having the uh, string that is I am a bird. So that has to be printed. That has got printed. I am penguin. So now next method we call this. Who is this? So I am penguin. So that string has got printed. Next we went for this can swim. So can swim is having this string to be printed. That is I can swim. So I can swim has got printed. Now we are having this can run and I can run faster. So in this way this particular string has got printed. So using this example we have shown you that how inheritance can be implemented in Python. So let us go for another example here. We are having one class. The name of the class is my parrot, and here we are having can fly and can swim. So obviously parrot can fly, so parrot can fly, but parrot cannot swim, so parrot can't swim. I am having another class that is my penguin, which is having two methods. The same same prototype. You can easily find that deaf can fly self, and deaf can swim self. So you see, we are having the same uh, prototype defined here also. Okay. No, see. So deaf can fly self. So penguin cannot fly, and deaf can swim self. We are having penguin can swim. So now we are having one common interface that is flying bird test. Okay. So I am going for this bird dot can fly and also bird dot can swim. So here in this particular method, we are, we are just passing this bird as input parameter, and we are calling this bird dot can fly and bird dot can swim. So here we have defined one parrot class object, my parrot class object, and one my penguin class object. 
So we are calling this flying bar test. We are calling this flying bar test with this bar parrot, that is, which is a parrot class object, and bar penguin, which is a penguin class object. So what will happen when we are passing this bar parrot? So that is a parrot class object. So that parrot class object dot can fly and parrot class object dot can swim will get executed. So as a result of that, this can fly and this can swim. The respective uh, body will get executed and respective strings are going to get printed. But when you are passing this bot penguin, which is the my penguin class object as input parameter to this flying bot test. So in that case, this bot can fly and bot can swim will be operated on this penguin, my penguin class objects. So in that case, what will happen? We'll be getting this penguin cannot fly and penguin can swim in case of flying bot test bot penguin. But in case of flying bot test bot parrot, we're having parrot can fly and parrot cannot swim. So you can find that how these classes uh, are having their respective objects and the objects are being passed to this flying bot test and respectively the respective can fly and can swim method will get executed. So in this particular uh, session, we have discussed what is the, how, how to implement the inheritance, how to do the polymorphism in our Python, in our object oriented programming. Thanks for watching this video.